outrage today after a student brought a gun to school. It happened at Hickman Mills Junior High, and Jodian Thompson joins us live from the school. And Jodian, the hero is another student here. Yeah, that's exactly right. The district says that there was a student in that classroom who saw the gun and texted their parents. So it was sort of that domino effect of information that quickly got back to the school and sent officials rushing into that classroom so quickly. And, you know, as all of us know, a situation like this could have ended so much differently. We're all so grateful that it didn't. But a lot of parents that we've met this afternoon were raising some really serious questions that we spent some time to try to help them get to the bottom of. Parents started the day thinking it was an average Friday at Hickman Mills Junior High, but that quickly changed. This is real. I mean, this is serious. This is some life or death, not only for the students, but for the staff. I'm scared. The, my children are my life. A voicemail went out to parents today that a gun was found in a female student's backpack. That classroom was put on lockdown around 10 a.m. and the gun was taken by school officers. Some parents started picking up their kids early but are expressing concerns about this. The metal detectors and if they're being properly manned. The fact that we have metal detectors that are obviously not in use when someone can walk through with a, a gun. So we went straight to the district spokesperson. They're manned every day. Each student has to walk through. If they go off, um, they have to walk through again. Sometimes we use a wand and go up and down um, and uh, make sure that they don't have anything in their backpack or, or in their clothing, jackets, anything like that. How do you suppose this gun guy through? That's what we're getting, trying to get to the bottom of right now. All right, so this is a copy of the letter that the parents were sent or the students were sent home with that the parents got and it reads in part that uh, any kid that brings a weapon to school will be suspended for a minimum of 10 days and then referred to the superintendent's office for further disciplinary action. We do know at this point that two students have been arrested for their involvement in what happened here today, but uh, obviously there's still a lot of more information that uh, will soon be coming out. We'll try to follow that for you. For now, reporting live from Hickman Mills Junior High School, Jody on Thompson, 41 Action News.